Nothing interesting has happened all day. So, why not? That glimmer in your eyes tells me I may actually be in for a fight. So what do you say? Will you test your strength against a tired old man? Sounds good to me. <laughs> you youngins are always spoiling for a fight. You've got spirit, lad, now. Let's see what else you're made of. Let's do this. I caught you. down by a plucky upstart. Even at my age, it seems life has plenty of lessons left to teach. Well, that settles that. I'll be joining you, lad. Might even be fun. Let's join forces. Call me Ryufan, and I join you as a humble man-at-arms. Now, a toast to camaraderie! <laughs> not. But are you alright? That looks like a nasty... I didn't fall. You skinned your knee. Look. I didn't fall, okay? So... Oh, yeah. That's... That's pretty gross. Hey, you listen to me. My teleportation is flawless. I'm flawless, okay? Impervious to error. Which means you didn't see a thing, all right? But you... No, no! You're not hearing me! You didn't see a thing, all right? 
All right. Of course you didn't, because I don't make mistakes. Okay, but... It's okay. I'm not going to tell anyone. Darn right you won't. <clears throat> well, you've seen what you've seen, and there's no taking it back. Therefore, I must keep you under surveillance and ensure the secret is kept. Surveillance? That's right. And know this. No matter what corner of the world you run to, I will find you. There is no escape from Carrie. My hawk-like watch begins now. You will rue having caught me at a moment of sub-perfection. Of course, you can still call on me at any time to demonstrate my flawless teleportation abilities. You do have a... What's it called? A map, yes? Just open your map, point to a destination, and I'll take you there in one perfect blink. Oh, and you should hold on to this. If I'm not around, this ring will achieve more or less the same thing. Don't misplace it. Now I'll be able to keep an eye on him. Teleportation, huh? I wonder if it would help us cross that place we got stuck. Oh, I must find that grilled tatuva recipe! Oh, where are you, old bark people? Do I bay up the wrong tree? Chase my own tail! Look after the lady, you hear?
Remember, Carrie? Perfection! You want me to use my rune lens power to help you cross this, yes? Uh, yep, just pshoo us across like champs. Can you do it? Of course I can. I am perfection incarnate. Great. Distance, nominal. Direction, nominal. Landing point? Well, I can't see it, but let's assume it's nominal. Oh, Carrie, you are a paragon. Yeah, but are you, like, a thousand percent sure here? Because the last time didn't go so hot. I have never made a single mistake in my entire existence, for I am perfect. Is that clear? Y yes, uh, ma'am. Fear not. I have a perfect mental picture of where we'll land. So? But you just said you can see. Okay, I'll be quiet. Now gather around and stay close. Despite my inability to err, I can't have you causing problems. You've got this, Carrie. I should probably mention that one blunder will cast us irretrievably into the space between dimensions. But fortunately, that is not going to happen. This is where you all say, ah, what? But we'll just move right past that. Uh, one moment. Could we just... Though I have no idea how. Did you see those giant lizards? What was that? A blunder. That's... that's not true. It was just the scenic route. Right. Well, thanks for that. Do 
you want me to take you back? No, that's okay. Seems risky. Risky? Why is that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. You want a piece of me? Step on up! Remember, Carrie? Perfection!
Now what do you make of that? I think it's coming this way! It doesn't seem to be hostile.
need to heal. Remember, Carrie? Perfection! Want a piece of me? Step on up!
quiet, everybody. Look there. Yes, exactly. The former king's idiot son is utterly incapable of making up his mind. But I assure you, I will make him consent to this. Considering the debt his family owes me, he is in no position to refuse. Hmm. Very well. Just keep a level head, Lord Counselor. You still have time. Focus on making steady progress. I shall. Uh, and, if I may, has word of my efforts reached Duke Zaldric? Oh, yes. And he rewards his capable allies most handsomely. That I promise you. <laughs> Music to my ears. And yet you demanded a contract written in the Duke's own hand. Not the most trusting of men, are you? Hmm. Is something the matter? <sighs> Nothing of import. The Dukes is pleased with your work thus far. Just see that you make steady progress. I will not fail you. Farewell for now, Lord Counselor. Conniving vixen! Who does she think she is? Still, if I play my cards right, my dream of sitting the Eucrisian throne may yet come true. <laughs> it's her! I knew it! The woman in the mask? Who is she? We saw her at the Rune Barrows working with an Imperial spy. Interesting. But not as interesting as the story we just heard. In all his distrustfulness, Harlan has finally done something to serve his country. Yep. Let's go find that contract she talked about. Legitimate. So we just take this and hustle our buns out of here? Yeah. That scholar guy would know what to do with it. There can be no mistake. This is a contract drafted by Dukes Aldrich. It's written in the same hand as his letter to King Yuma. Then we have proof of Harlan's betrayal. We do indeed. So now, you, Chris, is gonna fight the Empire, right? Right, guys? Uh, will it, though? I think we may require one more push to help our king find his resolve. What kind of push are we talking here? If I may, Commander Noah, I have a little job for you. Very well. I shall head to the palace straight away and sow the necessary seeds. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure what to make of this plan. Melleridge clearly has something in mind. Are you feeling confident about those acting chops, Noah? Uh, m maybe? You can do it! Unfounded confidence is an actor's greatest weapon! The commander of the Alliance can do anything if he puts his mind to it, yes? 
Uh, sure. I guess. Here goes nothing. Well then, your majesty, have you made your decision? All of you, Chris, awaits your word, for your actions this day could herald a bright new era for our kingdom. In fact, I understand that Duke Zaldric's research into new uses for rune lenses is making great strides. I'm endlessly impressed at your ability to vomit out nonsense you don't believe in. Oh, you're a politician born and bred. Or perhaps merely a swindler. How many times must I remind you that you are here as an observer, Countess? Your Majesty, in light of the Countess's continuous interruptions, I suggest you have her removed. Your father would not have tolerated such impudence from a guest. Of that, I am certain. If anyone is removed here, it will be you, Lord Harlan. What? How dare you? You're up, Noah. Go get him. Lord Harlan is a traitor who has conspired to sell out Eucharis to Dukes Aldrich for his own personal gain. Traitor? A personal gain? What? Who do you think you are? The fact you cobbled together some pathetic army out of defeated troops gives you no right to speak to me so. Unless you come bearing proof of this outrageous claim, I suggest you take your seat! My proof is this contract sent by Duke Zaldric to Lord Harlan. It says, and I quote, Should Lord Harlan secure Eucharis' surrender, he shall retain his wealth and status and be given high standing after the dissolution of the Sheerith dynasty. It's all right here on the page. This, um, well, the handwriting does seem to match the letter I received from the Dukes. You damnable varlet! Where did you get that? Oh! Ah, oh, no, no, you, you see here. It seems you are familiar with this document, Lord Harlan. No, of course not. You betrayed me, Lord Harlan. Betrayed your king. 
and your kingdom. Everything I have done was for the benefit of you, Chris. You must believe me. I... I... Cassius! Guards! Prepare the special chamber for Lord Harlan. I have a great many questions to ask him. You have it all wrong! I am no traitor! In fact, had your father still reigned, this need never have happened! But instead, we have you, Yuma! You! And you, Chris, cannot persevere with an heir so foolish and feckless! You are driving our kingdom to ruin! What choice did I have but to ally with the Empire? Get him out of here! Now! Do you understand now, Yuma? I, I mean, your majesty? Now that you've seen the contract, our Duke's Aldrich's motives not exceedingly clear. The man has no intention of allowing the Shirith dynasty to continue. <sighs> Such treachery. If the Dukes was willing to do away with the royal family, what would he have done to us? <clears throat> I choose to do all in my power to help Commander Noah of the Alliance. He's a man I can count on. And I will fight at his side. Oh. Apologies, Periel. Apologies, Lord Counselors. I just... I need a little more time. There might yet be truth to what Harlan said. Oof. Well, so much for that. I knew Yuma struggled with decisions, but I had no idea he was this bad. Still, we've done all we can for now. Lord Harlan is in custody, so I will spend the night here. The rest of you may make yourselves comfortable. Just stay out of the back chamber. Oh, come on! I bet there's rows of beds in there! You can spare one! Fine, but just the one. Noah. Are you all by yourself? I am. They changed the guards around this time, which gives me an opportunity to slip away. It's been my chance to go on little adventures ever since I was a child. Uh, not that I've ever left the palace grounds or anything. <laughs> that would be much too scary. In fact, this right here is about the extent of my adventuring zeal. I spoke to Melrich and learned of how you and Periel snuck into Harlan's manor to secure the contract. Periel really trusts you, doesn't she? No, more than that, she relies on you. How I envy that.
doesn't she rely on you too? I mean, you're the first person she turned to when Galdia attacked, and she's still appealing to you now. She must really trust you. I would be delighted if that were the case, but is it really me she was counting on? Or did she merely turn to me because I happen to be the person on the throne? I adore Periel. The way she's always spoken her mind, even when we were children. Despite growing up in circumstances not unlike mine, she's never afraid to be herself and do what she wants. She's ever pushing forward. Well, I'm from a small village, so I can't imagine what you've been through, but you look like a fighter to me. Is that not the case? Oh, heavens no. I'm worthless. Everyone thinks so, and they're quite right. Oh, I made a few clumsy attempts when I first inherited the throne, but I was never able to rule skillfully as my father did. And now, at the time of my country's greatest crisis, I still can't make up my mind. Instead of deciding, I fixate on all the tragedy my decisions might cause and simply freeze. Harlan had the right of it. I'm a feckless fool of a king. Who would ever follow a ruler like me? I just... That isn't true! That just isn't true! You aren't a bad king at all, your majesty! What? You are absolutely and completely wrong about yourself, and you mistake your kindness for weakness. I know how hard you work at being king. I know better than anyone, so please don't speak ill of yourself. It's everyone else's loss if they don't understand what a wonderful ruler you are. Thank you, Yulin. But I will never live up to my father. There's wisdom in her words, your majesty. People have you wrong. Indeed, you have yourself wrong. Now, I grant you may not currently be ruling with the skill and finesse of your father, but you're holding yourself up to a monarch with years of experience already behind him. Surely you can see how superficial it is to compare that man to a king who has taken but the first steps of his reign. A fledgling knight is no match for a hardened veteran. And yet, the youngster possesses something the veteran does not. A future. And I would not have you discard yours so lightly, my king. Oh, Melrich. You Lynn? Oh, uh, forgive me, your majesty. Uh, I was dreadfully out of line to speak to you like that. I will accept any punishment you see fit. Then your punishment is to tell me the truth. Do you really believe I can become a good king? Of course I do. You will be a, a kind king, and a great one, I'm sure of it. Thank you. I will, or at least I shall try to. I cannot express what an honor it is to fight alongside a man of your esteem, General Goldwyn. Mm -hmm. If I may, General, I hear we'll be entering Eucharist territory soon. When do you anticipate being able to report our victory to Dukes Aldrich? I must contemplate how best to compose the message. It is folly to contrive victories from unfought battles. A warrior must approach every enemy with equal sincerity. But who could Eucharist field who has any hope of victory against you? 
General Cassius is a steady hand who commands the love of his men, and I hear the kingdom is home to another formidable mind as well. And also... Yes? I take to the battlefield for our Emperor. Despite the great pains Aldric went through to convince His Excellency of this campaign's merit, I do not fight for the Dukes. Oh, good morning, all. I take it you spent the night here? Guys, you are not gonna believe this, Periel! How? Loose lips, darling. Come, Noah. We're leaving. Announcing His Majesty, King Yuma. Have you reached a decision, sire? If you require a messenger to go to Duke's Aldrich, I am yours to command. This is it. What's it going to be? I come bearing urgent news. Your Majesty. It seems an Imperial Expeditionary Force has been sighted. It is under the command of General Goldwyn, and outnumbers our army two to one. Double our numbers? And General Goldwyn? The man is said to be invincible. Uh -huh. Your Majesty! I have always been a worthless man, Periel. I am incapable of making decisions and paralyzed with fear of how others might view me. I have ever been a coward. I acknowledge this. General Cassius? Yes, my king. Melrich? Your majesty. For a period of two weeks, beginning now, I entrust to the two of you the entirety of my royal authority. You are to make every decision, for I have no doubt you are more capable of selecting the right choices than I. Call it a coward's conviction if it please you. Regardless, it is the best decision I can muster. What folly is this? Has His Majesty taken leave of his senses? Royal authority to a mere general and a lecturer at the studium? Say the word, Your Majesty, and we lords are ready to lead in your stead. The both of you must refuse this. It will plunge the kingdom into chaos. Folly from your fool of a king. Yet all the more reason to do it. Pitiful I may be, but I beg of you to save our kingdom. But... Are you quite certain? After all, what's to stop the General and myself from eliminating you should we come to enjoy this little taste of power? If that is your choice, then so be it. Were you to do such a thing, I believe it would be for the sake of the kingdom. Your Majesty. Uh, 
Long have I sworn my service and loyalty to House Sheerith, your majesty. But now, I pledge it anew to you, Yuma Sheerith, the man before whom I now take the knee. I shall answer the trust you have placed in me with all of my heart and ability. I do not know if my talents are worthy of the faith you place in them, Your Majesty. In fact, it speaks to their inadequacy that I have so clearly misjudged you. And for that, I must atone. Whatever shreds of wit and talent I still possess, I swear to you. As if any of this gives us a chance against the Empire! Your Majesty, it's not too late. We can still draft a letter of intent to Jukes Eldrick and... General Cassius. Any hope of successfully defending this kingdom will require the full efforts of her people and the full unity of her spirit. The army will be mustered and the realm's efforts devoted entirely to its defense. Any who choose to publicly object to his majesty's wishes will be executed on the spot. Mm -hmm. We did it! Now we can finally fight back! I'm not certain such jubilant optimism is appropriate. As General Cassius noted, it will require all the strength you, Chris, can muster to have even a chance of victory. And we'll be right beside you. Agreed. This is everything we've been striving for. Then allow me to formally request the support of the Alliance. You shall have it and more. We'll return to the inn and have Janequist beat the muster drums. I shall contact Emir and have him commence preparations straight away, milady. Send me. I'll get your message there safe. Shall I set this in motion, Commander? Do it. Ayat! Let's go beat him like a dirty carpet! They are certainly in for a surprise. Indeed. And this time, victory will be ours. You ready, Noah? I think Ariel already took off for the palace.
Let us review our strategy. We face a war of attrition. Unfortunately, Haishan was not built to be easily defended. Therefore, we must meet the Imperial host on the field and strive to buy time while minimizing our casualties. We leave this in your capable hands, General Cassius. His Majesty's troops are kith and kin to me. I'll not let a single man die in vain. I trust messengers have been dispatched to Norster and Kinan? They have, but neither will act until we prove our mettle, which is why this first battle is pivotal. Our enemy is a general both seasoned and clever, and he will not rely on superior numbers alone to deliver victory. We must whittle away at their strength now, then turn the war of attrition which follows to our advantage. Which is where we come in! Uh, right? Correct. We are counting on your ambush to throw the battlefield into disorder. Do not let us down, Commander Noah. We won't. We're ready. General Cassius, Melridge, Noah, pray bring us victory and return home safely. Thank you, Your Majesty. If my projections are correct, this battle may be over far sooner than we all dare hope. Projections? Mm. Reporting, sir! The Imperial Army has arrived and is forming up just where you said they would! Then we'd best get started. Are you ready, Commander? Let's do this. Ready yourselves! This day we fight for our homes, for our king, and for the future of our country! The Imperial Army's here. So it's war, then. I assumed their forces would throw down their arms and flee, rather than take the field for such a weakling king. Perhaps they found a more inspiring leader. Fortune smiles upon us this day, General Goldwyn. The honors of a battlefield victory are ours for the taking. It is an honor for you to lead my vanguard, Lieutenant Kessling. I expect your rune tank to earn us a great many accolades. Um, about that, sir? The rune tank isn't really designed for solo combat. It requires a lot of infantry support, so... I was not speaking to you, soldier. Well, young Sian, what do you say? Will you fight for the glory of your house? As you command, sir. Hildy, Valentine, gather what troops you can. At once, Lieutenant. By decree of the Emperor, you may submit peacefully to Galdia's glory, or be crushed beneath her heel.
It's time. Give the signal. Looks like we're up. Let's go! Yeah! To battle! What? A second force? Where the hell did they come from? There's the tactician signal. Come on, boys. Let's honor our contract and show these imps the color of their own guts. An ambush! What impudence! This is the moment we've been waiting for. Advance! All forces, attack! Shields up! Stand your ground! I will deal with this ambush myself. Are the troops holding up? We're ready to move whenever. Though if you ask me, that move should be to turn and run. You forget yourself, second lieutenant. Goldwind, I presume. Your reputation precedes you, General Cassius. Now, let us put it to the test. You be quiet there, thank you. Pull yourselves together, you sloppy fools! His Grace the Dukes is expecting a great victory from me. Today. Enemy in sight, sir. On your order, Lieutenant. Attack! The power of the lion for one and for all!
Concentrate your attack. Don't miss. Some damn order! Now form up and prepare for the next! If you have finally regained control of your troops, General Chapel, then prepare to withdraw. We are finished here. What? Learning the true strength of our foe is victory enough for the day. It has not come without cost, but to persist further would only result in needless bloodshed. We maintain the upper hand, and are in no particular rush. Additionally, the sun has begun its descent, and I've no desire to fight in darkness on unfamiliar terrain. We will withdraw! <sighs> Fine. Retreat! Fall back, you dogs! Nice job, Noah. <laughs> you sure showed him, cousin. A victory on the Alliance's very first deployment! Let's not press our luck. An overzealous attempt to pursue General Goldwyn may end poorly. All units, fall in! You fought bravely and well this day. And you, Chris, thanks you for it! Now, we return to Haishan triumphant! We did it! We set him running for the hills! And more importantly, everyone is safe. Is this victory real? I can scarce believe it. It is only one battle behind us, Your Majesty. The war ahead will be nothing to celebrate. It disheartens me that our ambush did little to face General Goldwyn's troops. He truly is the military titan, they say. Yeah. Even I've heard of the guy, so I guess today didn't amount to much more than an ugly introduction. Let's not diminish the significance of forcing a retreat in our first battle. I've already made arrangements to inform the other members of the League, and trust the news will change their countenance for the better. If I may, who are those other reinforcements? And why did you not mention them? I'm guessing you mean me. Allow me to introduce Captain Bernard Sawad of the White Sands Mercenary Company. I reached out to him some time ago to secure his services. Oh, and if you're worried about the mercenary part, I promise you this. A Sawad never breaks a contract. You hired these sellswords, Melrich? I managed to divert some funds their way, yes. 
a bit from the royal treasury and more that was earmarked for the studium and archives. I figured the forthwith confiscation of Harlan's estate would sufficiently refresh our coffers. <laughs> well, I suppose I did give you my royal authority, but I'm still pleased to see you wielding it with such wisdom. Just do see the ledgers end up balanced, yes? Don't spare it another thought, Your Majesty. That's something I'm quite confident I can manage. Uh, yep, still incorrigible. <laughs> Something on your mind, Sane? Hmm. You're wondering what will happen if Eucharist falls, aren't you? Its downfall seems inevitable, considering the League's lack of unity. Just like Duke Saldrick wants, I bet. You're thinking about it again. In part. But mostly, I'm just wondering what I'm doing here. I intended to make a name for myself and House Kessling as an Imperial officer. I believed that was the right thing. It's what I thought he would do. Your brother? Yes. But now I'm not sure about anything anymore. So where does that leave me? Sorry to interrupt the boy talk, fellas. Did I miss anything spicy? Look, we've all got them. Ties, I mean. Obligations. I know all about yours, Sane. Little by little, they tighten around your neck until one day you wake up and realize you're wearing a noose. All part of growing up, I suppose. At these times, the times where you have to weigh your friends and your loyalties and your future, these are the moments that tell us who we are. You're young. You feel like throwing caution to the wind and doing the wrong thing for the right reason. Well, do it. This is getting a little complicated and poetic for me, but... I think I agree. Paul, Valentine, thank you both. Hildy. A messenger just arrived bearing urgent news from the homeland, Lieutenant. It's as you feared. What? How could this have happened? I'm still verifying the information. It's possible this is but a rumor. This is not some piece of idle gossip, man! You're telling me the Emperor has been assassinated? That is... Uh, yes. That's what I've heard. But all the more reason to swiftly complete our occupation of Haishan while we wait for further news. The late Emperor's decree still stands, after all. And His Grace the Dukes has not yet issued our next orders. The Dukes has not issued them? I... I mean nothing by it. Let us resume our efforts on the morrow. Rise and shine, Noah. The new day has dawned and everyone's gathered at the palace.
battle of attrition continues. Our ambushes in the last fight took a modest toll on the enemy, but we still remain outnumbered. This time, Noah's allied troops and the White Sands mercenaries will fight on the defensive line. Hold a keen edge out there, both of you, and be ready for anything. <laughs> if there's one thing the White Sands know, it's how to hold a keen edge. And your troops, Commander Noah? Ready to go. You darn tootin' we are! Facing, coordinates, wind direction, all nominal. I am ready for a flawless battle. You Christians! Take heart from yesterday's victory! But do not take your enemy lightly, for he will fight with even more fury this day! How droll that they considered that a victory. They merely bought themselves another few hours to breathe. For today, it will all come crashing down around them. In the name of His Excellency, the Emperor. Send them off! Lightning strike! Have we done nothing to blunt the Empire's strength? The enemy is formidable. Don't approach them lightly. Tighten up, everyone! Been a while since I had to work this hard for my wage. Another tough fight in our hands today. Our objective is to drag it out for as long as we can while minimizing our losses. Be quiet there, thank you. Listen to me, everyone. You may have heard the rumors already. 
But His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. Then it's true. Dukes Aldrich is the man behind it. I have had ample opportunity to witness the Dukes' tyranny, and have come to believe the invasion of Eucharist is not just. Therefore, pursuing it would be a stain on the Empire's honor. This is not an order. Those who do not wish to follow me will receive no punishment. But on this day, I turn my banners in revolt against Dukes Aldrich. I fight to return the Empire to a just and righteous path! They're cheering! Your family's soldiers are true to their house, Lieutenant. They stand with you. And they're all fools. So what does that make you? The woman responsible for keeping fools in line, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Disarray in the Imperial ranks? What is happening? What does this mean? Look! It's Sane! <sighs> I do not understand what is happening, but I know a potential opportunity when I see it. Protect that company of turncoats! That company is under the Kessling boy's command. The lad takes after his brother. Chapel, order your troops to withdraw. I cannot believe the great General Goldwyn would say such a thing. We must annihilate these pathetic traitors at once. No. What we must do is learn the truth of the Emperor's assassination. Until that happens, this war cannot continue. All units, fall in. We withdraw at once and return to Goldian soil. Yes, sir. But... but this is absurd! We need just win this one battle so I can deliver the news to Dukes Aldrich and... Do as you will, but I have no intention of fighting for your Dukes. I shall never retreat. My host is more than sufficient to handle this motley force. General Goldwyn's legion has stood down. But why? My projections appear to have come true. I assure you, Goldwyn's retreat is no feint. Something has transpired inside the Empire. Which means we can finish this here and now. Concentrate your attack! Don't miss!
right then. Off we go. A healing light to ease all wounds. Yeah, we did it. Wow, we won. You're all so tough. Enemy unit defeated. Stay alert. Initiating combat. Enemy unit defeated. But stay alert. Enemy legion crushed. You did well. Land reactor stable. We can keep going. But... But I was to claim victory here. Me! For the glory of Dukes Aldrich! Damnation! Is it over? We did it! We saved you, Chris! Uh, we did do that, right? Indeed. Victory is ours. Oh yeah! That's how it's done, cousin! Well fought, Noah. You comported yourself with great skill. You might be longer for this world than I thought. I have protected my kingdom. And my king. The Imperial Army has quit our territory, Your Majesty. Our scouts expect them to continue withdrawing to the north. Then... we won? Yes, Your Majesty. We won. That's... that's wonderful! Yes, thank you all so much! I owe a great debt to you and the Allied Army. Thank you for fighting at our side. It was a mutual effort, Your Majesty. You needn't shy away from credit, Noah. Our successes thus far are in no small measure thanks to you. Yeah, someone see a little swagger already. I gotta agree. Huh. We finally gave those imps the shellacking they deserve, and there's no harm in savoring it! Ha ha ha! My concern is that I fail to understand what prompted Goldwyn's troops to withdraw. Oh, um... Huh... Was that some scheme of yours, Malrich? I fear I am as in the dark as the rest of you. However, I suspect... Perhaps I can shed some light on that. Sane! This Imperial officer and his people just surrendered to us, Commander. I had a feeling it would be you. A pleasure to see you again, Noah. Been a while, Lieutenant. So, uh, thanks for switching sides and all, but, uh, why? 
I harbor suspicions which have driven me to leave the Empire. Suspicions related to General Goldwyn's abrupt retreat? Yes. If you don't know, His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. What? The Emperor of Galdia? But why? How? Dukes Eldrick is how. While we lack solid evidence of such, the information we've gathered certainly raises the possibility. So that's why they all turned tail and ran. This Duke's guy must be a first-class moron. Way to make your move at the worst possible time, you dope. I will return to the castle on the morrow. Our troops must be reorganized before we can carry on to Norrister. And you, Melridge? Actually, I have received the King's blessing to make myself useful within the Alliance. If you are amiable, I feel I can respond more nimbly stationed at your headquarters. So you expect our battle with the Empire to continue? Oh, I believe it has only just begun. Duke Saldric's ambitions clearly extend beyond the Galdian throne. The invasion of you, Chris, was simply a tidy way to displace the General for a time. It certainly is beginning to look that way. Goldwyn was ever the late Emperor's staunchest loyalist. Once Aldric sent him far from home, he used that time to sow the seeds of a coup. He's a ruthless and cunning man, and no mistake. But I dare say you may be his equal. It pleases me to have you on our side. Oh, I don't think I am the cunning one here. After all, you didn't hand your army over to that Noah boy for no reason. This has been your plan from the start. Yes. Well... Still, if the Resistance army was led by the Countess of Groom, it would invite no end of suspicion. Tongues would wag about my agenda, my ambition. But a commoner turned hero rising up against the Empire's tyranny? Now that's the sort of story that resonates with people. After all, who doesn't love an underdog? <laughs> so, what is it that you hope to gain from all this milady? Clearly not prestige. Clearly not. No, my wish is far more modest. Morning, kiddo. How you doing today? Good? Good. We should visit the Great Hall. There's gonna be a meeting. mood, are we?
Please come by any time. Now that Commander Noah has joined us, we can begin. Okay, first, begin what? Second, aren't you supposed to be in you, Chris? King Yuma, in his wisdom, has granted me permission to serve the Alliance. I intend to do so to the best of my abilities. And seeing as I'm still under contract with the tactician, I guess I'm coming aboard as well. Not gonna complain about that. You fought like a demon in you, Chris. Then it's settled. Melridge will be chief strategist and advisor to the Alliance's new permanent commander, Noah. Wait, what? So I'm completely in charge now? Exactly. You're the one who secured the use of this castle after all. Not to mention forging an alliance with the tree folk and winning the battle for you, Chris. Besides, I have far too many other things on my plate to be leading armies this way and that. Okay, but so this means... I thought you liked to meddle. If so, it's time to plunge your nose into something that counts. You can help more than a person here or a person there. You can help entire nations. Um, I guess. But look. <laughs> Looks like you got an occasion to rise to, Noah. You okay with this, Emir? Her ladyship and I have discussed it, if that is what you mean. This is already way more fun than Imperial meetings. Shh! Keep your voice down! I'd like to take this moment to formally offer my help, Noah. Galdea no longer pursues a righteous path. But by standing with you, I believe she can yet be saved. Sounds like you found a new calling. I have. I will set aside my duty to House Kessling and follow the dictates of my own heart. Chills, Zane. Chills. Also, that look in your face tells me you're doing the right thing. I don't feel like my expression is any different. Because it's not. <laughs> A 
I do hate to spoil the mood, but I was hoping we might discuss next steps, if I may. Uh, he's asking you, kiddo? Huh? Oh, I, I guess I do this kind of thing now, huh? Sure, Melridge. Go ahead. <clears throat> As of now, the Empire has pulled its forces out of Eucharist, but yet remains a heavy presence in Groom. We must be prepared for when Duke Aldrich inevitably resumes his efforts to subjugate the League of Nations. Which I'm guessing will happen soon. There are two ways to effectively use the time we have left. The first is to gather as many allies as we possibly can. If I might interrupt, I have an idea about that. What about Imperciak, the Shi'ar capital in the desert east of Eucharist? The Shi who now? The Shi'ars. As a mercenary, I've had plenty of chances to fight both with and against them. They're strong warriors who prize valor above all else. A fine idea. As it happens, I've already secured the King's permission to use Eucharist's desert checkpoint. Commander Noah, might I ask you to go to Imperciark and seek their help? You should take Bernard as your guide. Checkpoints northeast of Haishan. From there, we'll cross the mountains into the gateway town of Dabavi. I'll explain more as we go. Sounds good. Now, as for the other way to make a difference. At this moment, the Dukes is no doubt engaged with fallout from the Emperor's assassination. The sooner that's quelled, the sooner he can turn his attentions to us. Which means we need to keep that chaos churning for as long as possible. I have asked Lieutenant Kesling for his assistance in this matter. We have already reached out to the late Emperor's loyalists in Galdea. Naturally, they aren't keen on Aldrich seizing power. We think it's better for us to go talk to them, since there are people and all. Which means we'll be working separately for a bit. Probably for the best. Many here in the Alliance will need time to trust us, and understandably so. Hey, for what it's worth, I totally trust you guys. Thanks, Leon. The others will come around once they get to know the Lieutenant. Sane's group will work independently to gather intel within the Empire and sabotage the Duke's plans. Do everything in your power to destabilize his grip and delay his ability to resume the invasion. You can count on us. I will serve as a messenger, traveling back and forth between this castle and the Empire. help with that? Please. I'm yours. But of course. I'm pleased to have that settled. Commander Noah, Lieutenant Kessler. Good luck to you both. Thank you. Knock your socks off! I'll try not to let you down. Oh my, 
even let you up! I don't know what that means. Two simultaneous operations. One to gather allies, and one to disrupt the enemy. Pressure's on, Sane. Who's gonna finish first? Technically, neither task is one that can be completely finished. There he goes. Fretting the details again. <laughs> uh, yep, some things never change. Oh, do come in. Please come by any time. To reach the desert, we need to pass through a checkpoint northeast of Haishan. Let's get moving. Think Kerry can teleport us to Haishan? Are you wondering how Lieutenant Kessling is faring, sir? Yeah. Could you check in on him? Are you certain? I am. Thank you. Very well, sir. Lieutenant? <sighs> Will you attempt to see your father, sir? As the Duke's men are certain to be watching, it will require sneaking in. Another time, perhaps. How goes our progress in the mean? Second Lieutenant Valentine has been using his extra time here to scout locations. He's chosen a safe house in Lowtown, on the west side of the city. Shall we join him?
Is there something you need, young man? So where's this safe house? The second lieutenant said we'd know once we got there. Subtle. If you're looking for valleys in the back, can't believe I'm giving those troublemakers a place to hide. Again. Now, oh, but don't worry. Folks around here are loyal, and they know all the good things House Kessling has done for them. Like how your family chips in for the festival every year. So whatever hot water you and Valor in is your business. Far as I'm concerned, you were never here. Do it just like we discussed. Those pursuers might not be far behind. Leave it to us, Val. If someone don't belong, we'll sniff them out a league away. Huh? Say, ain't you that rich Kessling kid? Sorry, no. I get it. Well, no worries, stranger. Any friend of Val's is a friend of ours. Be seeing you. You both made it. Good. Who were those lovely chaps? Oh, just some old companions. Just because I made it into officer school by the skin of my teeth doesn't make me any less of a low-towner. Some around here still look up to me. What's this about pursuers? If you mean is anyone after us, then yes, I'm sure they are. But we were discussing something else. I pulled strings at the Intelligence Bureau to find out which factions have ill feelings about Aldrich's power grab. But ill feelings or no, no one's willing to openly oppose him. Not even General Goldwyn? Nope. 
no question how he feels, but without proof of who offed the Emperor, he's not ready to move. Aldric dispatched General Goldwyn to Eucris just before the assassination, so he might quickly solidify his power base here. The Duke's has been thorough. Yes, indeed. But not completely so. I have a lead. Do tell. Paul, bring him in. It's all right. They're friends. My name is Sane Kessling. And who are you? Call me Ivy. Yeah, you yeah, sir. These girls are your lead. Yep. And they've got one head spinner of a tail. So the two of you escaped from Aldrich's Rune Lens research facility? Yes, sir. My people and I were taken from our village against our will. I had no hope of escape, let alone returning home. But then Ivy here came to my rescue. I was working at the facility as an engineer. But no one ever talked about what went on in the back of the place. And since being left in the dark gets me steamed, I decided to poke around and find out. Based on her description, Miss Yelu's village sounds like it's part of the Norsefarian territory that was ceded to the Empire. Is it possible your people were the whole reason Aldrich sought its annexation? All I know is that the Galdeans were trying to search the nearby rune barrow, sir. But I did hear him say they ran into trouble with the Guardians. If I had to guess, I'd say they found our village purely by chance. As for why they abducted us... That's the same power as a rune lens. Where's the lens? Some of us villagers, like my brother and myself, are born with the power of rune lenses inside us. That terrible masked lady working for the Empire picked up on it and immediately had us all locked up. Wait, hang on. They locked up the entire village? Yes, my mother... My father, even my little brother. Forced internment? But why? Obviously not for anything good. When I heard all this, I figured others needed to know. So I went and sprung Yelu from the facility. But there was only room in my tool chest to smuggle her or her brother out. Couldn't do both. He stayed behind so I could escape. We managed to shake the Dukes' pursuers. Next thing we know, we'd wound up here. We came across them not far from here while hiding the rune tank. Although, we nearly had a situation with Ivy and her rune arms when she thought we were Imperial goons. And I'm still sorry about that! <laughs> no worries. So I wouldn't want to tangle with your arms again any time soon. <laughs> I know, I know. I goofed. Please, sir. My family and the other villagers need your aid. Will you help them? What do you say? If the Dukes' actions violate Imperial law, we might be able to turn the tide by making this affair public. Also... Also? 
The Imperial Army I know would never stand for this kind of behavior. He's acting like a damn tyrant. Now that's the spirit. So long as we're committing treason, might as well make it mean something. So the plan is to infiltrate the Dukes' research facility, rescue the villagers, and expose this whole mess, right? Not quite. My apologies, Yelu. We may not be able to free your people right away. It may have to wait until we can make the Dukes' actions public. I'll take whatever help I can, sir. Thank you. We can take Sylv, I mean the rune tank, most of the way to the facility. I hid her over on the east side of town. Let's head there first. Come on, Yelu. Let's go. Okay. I'm so worried about my family. Well, Maroon Tank will get us to the facility faster than you can say Paul's a genius! And my rune arms will smack the bad guys into next week! Oh, thank you. That cheers me somewhat. Right. Let's get moving.
right. I think we're in business. This is incredible. I'm a long way from designing runic tech on this scale. I don't know. Your arms trace the movements of your body, right? If you ask me, that kind of microtech is the real wonder. Aww. <laughs> You're a sweetie. It's time we departed. All set here. Still, Godhaven Castle. If that's where we're headed, we're in for one wild ride. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't know it would be so dangerous. But... We know what has to be done. And nothing will deter us from doing it. Even if it means infiltrating Aldrich's own stronghold. Right. Let's get this done. This is as close as I can bring her without being spotted. Remember, we're not here to storm the castle. All we have to do is sneak into the Runelands research facility where the villagers are being held. We shouldn't encounter much resistance between here and my workshop. But past that, sentries galore. Perhaps it's best for you to stay here and leave this to us, Miss Yelu. Please, ma'am. I want to go. If I'm with you, the villagers are more likely to trust you. And besides, I should help. The first order of business is to find out what they're up to in the back of that facility. I'm guessing it ain't gonna be pretty. Oh. Second Lieutenant. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. You, stand by, and make sure the room tank is ready to go at a moment's notice. Yes, sir. All right, let's move. Let's get this over with.
conflict resolved without incident. Two arms!
Ivy. Okay. Thank you. 